to give you this sneak peek into our new Rock Ultra LiDAR system. So this data set here in the background, this is the new Rock Ultra. And I'm going to go through and show you the details of this really fast. Now, keep in mind, this is captured at 150 meters AGL. So this is higher than you can fly with a drone here in the US. But before I do that, let me jump into showing you a few things I think are pretty awesome about the system. This is the spec sheet. So the Rock Ultra is capable of doing 1,000 meters of range. And the usable, I mean, you can fly basically 120 meters, the max AGL for drones, all day long and still be pulling curbs. I'm going to show you that in this data set in a second. The other thing is it does 5 millimeters ranging accuracy on that laser at that 120 meters, which is insane. And it's super light. It's only 1.21 kilograms or 1.4 kilograms with the 26 megapixel camera. And we also have a 45 megapixel camera that comes with it. And then, oh yeah, seven returns. So this thing is a beast. When it comes to thick vegetation, it's gonna see right down to the bare earth, almost guaranteed. This thing is awesome. So flying high, flying fast, getting up to a million points a second, all pointed at the ground. One million points pointed at the ground, seven returns up to a thousand meters range. What this really means is that you're going to be able to fly high and not have to worry so much about terrain following because now the digital elevation model that you're going to use to do terrain following for your drone, if it's not super accurate, sometimes you got to really worry about running into obstacles or making sure you're super close to the ground to get really good data all the time. With this one, even if the ground undulates underneath of you outside of, you know, a little bit makes you fly a little bit higher, doesn't matter. You have so much ceiling on this thing. So you're going to be able to fly really high, fly really fast. It's getting a million points per second all at the ground. So really dense data, and it's really accurate. And seven returns means it can go right through all of that vegetation. And those the possibilities of seeing the ground are seven times more, you know, basically. So let me actually just show you this data set uh, and tell you why I think this is going to be the tool that every surveyor firm that relies and starts using this drone LiDAR data for their workflow, this is going to be the tool that you're going to want to have in your arsenal. So let me zoom in here. First thing I want to show you is look at this retaining wall here. So this, I just want to show you the, even from 150 meters, look at this, the right angle we're getting on this wall right here. I mean, you can see this is just super crisp data, even at 150 meters. Keep that, it's 150 meters. This is so high. I can come over here to the road. We can see this curb here. I mean, this thing's, you're going to be able to pull curbs from 150 meters. So, okay, this means two things. I said earlier, it means that you can fly high and not to worry about terrain following or obstructions. True. The other thing is if you're using this kind of technology in your workflow today, I mean, most of the times we get out there, I mean, it could be raining today. We could have spotted showers. You know, the weather windows to capture data doesn't always cooperate with you. So sometimes you got to just get out there and get the data real quick. So because you can fly so high, you can cover so much more land in a single you know, few minutes. So now you can just get out there and get the data, even if there's a little break in the weather. So it's going to keep you being productive with your tool more frequently. So keep that in mind, too. And if you have a huge job, I mean, really, you can capture massive areas now. I mean, two, three, four, five thousand acres in a day, probably no problem. Uh, I'm going to go out and make some videos about that myself. I'm going to see how much can I fly in one day. Okay, now let's talk about the vegetation over here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this side menu and switch it over to the RGB mode. Sorry, I meant elevation. Because what I like to do is I like to take a data set and I like to flip it upside down. So you see all the trees here? Now we're going to flip it upside down and come over. So this is where the trees are. And this is, we're able to see almost like a clean, smooth surface on the bare earth ground. So this is at seven returns. You're really able to see a lot of points make the ground. And usually these spots, it's kind of where the tree trunk is at. You know, it's probably where the, tr the actual tree trunks are at. So getting a clean digital elevation model with highly accurate data, is not going to be a big challenge for this system at all. The other thing I want to show is this system has a fixed camera. So you're going to be able to get orthomosaics with the rock photogrammetry reliably every time. I'm going to turn on the trajectory, turn the photos off, and just have the ortho. And so this is the ortho from rock photogrammetry. 
Uh, so you can be able to fly, generate an ortho. And the way we do our orthos, everything is from this nadir direction. So we actually use the LiDAR data to make the ortho. So you can see that this light, these light po posts is actually in the correct XY location. So you'll see where his little rips, rip marks are at. Because we force that to be there because we use the 3D data to find the correct XY location uh, easting northing in order to correctly position them. So rock photogrammetry looks way better on this system as well. So if you're looking for a system that can get really accurate data, really, you know, it saves you a lot of time uh, because it gets a million points per second, seven returns. It's all a million points per point, 90 degree field of view at the ground. So if you're doing power corridors, you can just do one swap, fly 120 meters, one swap, and at you know 120 at 90 degrees, you're looking at roughly 240 meters of you know coverage on the ground in one single swap. All right, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Looking forward to getting some more rock culture data out there. See ya.